Hello everyone, welcome to Open Source Cook. So as promised, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to edit your videos which you have created using the Voco screen or probably some other recording software. For this demo, I'm going to use a small video which I'll just show you and uh, then we will see how we can actually cut and edit this particular video as per our requirement. So let's get started. So here is a video that I have created for one of my sessions and in this video I have provided some assignments to my students and it has some parts. So let me play this video and show you. So here the video actually starts at around uh, some 10 seconds in the initial part okay so here it starts somewhere here okay so okay so here the video starts then i am giving some description and somewhere in between there is a hint part i have given so i, I want to remove that hint part also so i'll have to notice where the hint part is hint is to start from so the top from of here the, the hint is to start so start going to hint is somewhere here okay so the hint is to this is where i would like to chop it off and then the somewhere maybe the self visual come so on you should so, be able to complete this simple assignment very easily if you have understood the concept of rose parent so somewhere here where i say you should be able to complete this assignment simply up to this part, I don't want because it contains the hint. And if I continue towards the end, if you look at it here, this is where I have ended. So I don't want that remaining part. You can see there is this video stopping and other things. So this is a simple video which I want to edit. So the tool that we are going to use is called as OpenShot. It is available for uh, all different operating systems. And I'll provide the link for OpenShot uh, in the description of this video. OpenShot you can uh, download and use it. Again, it's a open source software, completely legal. You can download it. So uh, no hassles. So let us have a look at the software. So over here, I have this OpenShot installed. So here, this is the OpenShot editor where you can edit your video. Fine. So. I'll not get into too much of details of doing things. We are just going to see simply how to remove those parts and maybe a few simple transitions adding a initial introductory title and maybe an ending title. That is what I plan to demonstrate in this video. So first of all, these are your project files over here on the left side. Here you will be adding the video which you want to edit okay these are the tracks in which editing will take place there are multiple tracks if you are going to use some advanced usage of audio mixing and other image mixing and all uh, then uh, you will be using these multiple tracks but for the time being in the current case we're just going to edit a single video over here directly. This is the player where you'll be able to see, play it and see that which part you want to edit. So let's start. You can simply drag and drop your file into this or over here you can say right click and a import file can be done. So my file is on the desktop so i'm going to select this and open so my file is now added over here fine 
these things are draggable if you want to readjust since i'm going to use only one track i'm going to have it a bit bigger over here now the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to save this project save project on some location and give it some name okay now before you start proceeding you should select the profile in which you want the video output this should match the same thing in which you have recorded so like i have recorded my video in a profile as i said we had set it to 25 frames per second 1280 by 720 i think this is a semi hd resolution or called as a hd resolution or something like that so you will select this so dependent upon what resolution you have used it will you'll have to select that otherwise your video could get distorted so the first thing is to select this profile over here close now i will drag this and put it over here in the track fine now you can see the video over here now if you press the play button your video will start playing as usual fine this is the seek bar which you can uh, click and drag to go to different positions or you can directly click at different locations so let's get into how to cut the video first so if you put your cursor over here press control and scroll the mouse you can zoom in and zoom out this thing fine means it's just showing it bigger it becomes much more easier for the cutting purpose so now i will play my video and i'll listen for the audio where it starts okay so so somewhere here the audio has started so i'll just drag it somewhere here or if you look at this point there is some time coming up you can notice that so i'm just dragging it or if i play it again okay so, so around 9 seconds i said okay so i'll drag it back to 8 seconds and here what i have to do is i have to right click on this fine i have to right click on this slice and now i want to keep the right side fine the left side is the useless part so i am going to say keep the right side so that part is chopped off now now we'll continue Okay, to so watch our video and we will move till that part next part which we want to cut so so carefully at the table and see if you can recreate this table this in column span start going towards the lower row look okay. And see if you can recreate this table. This is a single table using the row span and column span concept. The hint is to start. So here I said the hint. So let me listen to it again. The hint is. So at 35 seconds I said the hint. So somewhere around 34 seconds I'm going to cut it. Now when you cut it now, we want to cut a slice in between. Fine. So in this point I am just going to say keep both the sides okay because everything before this is required now we will move ahead to the so point you should be able up to, to which i can this simple assignment cut. very easily if you have understood the so the hint let me see where it ended the moving left to right and so on so this is where the hint ended where i said so on so you should be able to complete this by moving left to right and 
so on. So here I'll stop this and now since I've put a cut already on the left hand side, now I will say keep the right side. That means from the earlier cut where I had said keep both the sides and here the right side will be left and the middle part will be chopped off. So keep the right side. Now you can see this is removed. Okay. Now I'll continue to the last part which I want to remove. Okay. This is what I want to remove. Fine. So till then. So up to till then. Let us say I want to keep this. So here I don't want this area and this is my last part. So I'm just going to say keep the left side. Okay, so my basic editing is done. I removed some initial part, middle part and something from the end. Now you can simply drag it and put it over here. So now I need a title for my video. So I'll just show you how to add a simple title over here. Go to the title and click on this title. You will get different varieties over here. You can play around with these things, select different ones later on. I'll just select a simple title from text over here. So you will need to select a font. If nothing is displaying over here, probably there is an issue with the font. So select some standard font from your machine. Okay, so I'll just say Ubuntu, Mono, whatever font is there and you can see this is visible over here. So I'm going to say OPE. Open shot editing editing demo. Okay. So you can change some color and other things. So let us say I want to change the text color to slight yellowish file. Then save this. Now you can see you have a title over here. So you can drag and drop the title over here. Now I'll need to move this. Now by default your title is coming up for around 10 seconds. You can decrease for how long it should be visible over there. So like this. Fine. Then again drag back these things. And now I'm going to create another title for the end. So title, another title and let's say we'll select this. Thanks for watching. And again, I'll have to change the font. It seems the default one is not there. Okay. Fine. So this is my title. I'll save this. And now I'll pull this and put it at the end. Again, you can increase or decrease the length from here. So now if I place it over here my marker or handle this handle I'm just going to call it as a handle for the time being I play you will be able to see how your video will look fine so, okay, so now you can see the edited what I want video you to do is try out fine now it comes here towards the end so and columns plan concept you should be able to complete this Simple assignment very Fine. easily. And then we come over here and towards then. the end. Then this will come. So this is a, you can say, preview of how your video will look. One more thing that I wanted to add is, you could add a simple transition. That means when scenes are changing between things like this. Fine. Or at this point, when the scene changes, Concept. fine. You should be able to come. So here it is not noticeable, but sometimes when you like cutting uh, your scenes, 
there should be a good transition. So I'm going to put some transitions over here for demonstration purpose. So I'll come over here. I'll select this and right click on this and here there is a fade and here for the entire clip I'm going to say fade in fade out slow. Again in this part I'm going to say fade entire clip fade in fade out slow. If you just want in the start you can use it for start if you want it for the end you can use end. So a clip is basically what you have clipped this part. So this is a clip, this is a clip, this is a clip now. So for this particular clip again I'm going to take fade entire clip fade in fade out slow. Again for this one or I'm going to take fade entire clip fade in fade out fast and the last one again I'm going to say fade entire clip fade in fade out fast. So this is the only transition I'm going to talk about right now and let me show you how it will look. So you can see it fades in and then it will slowly fade out and then my next screen will okay, fade in slowly. So Fine. Now again so here this will fade out and this will fade and in slowly. To again you will come up to this point and okay. here it will and then fade and then your last part will come. So now this is done. Whatever editing I wanted to do, keep on saving your project in between. You don't want to lose all the editing that you have done. Now come to this red button over here. You have already selected the profile in which you want to generate this output. So here path where you want this to be exported, the name of the file fine and over here what we want to do is we have already set the profile for mp4 format now here there you have three options high medium and low so these kind of screen recordings can be set to medium or low you can try out both i'll just set it to low and i will say export video fine so let me export this video. Okay, so this is completed, done. And now you can simply quit from this. And here you can see my edit demo 4 is ready. Now if I play this, you can see our edited video is ready now. Okay. okay, so what I want you to do is try out this angle and see if you can recreate this tape and concept. Okay, so this is where so we had the fade this and this is where it ends. So this is how you can create your videos and edit them and using OpenShot Video Editor you will be easily able to edit videos and provide some effect. If you are a bit more enthusiastic, you can explore the other options and uh, you can have more guidance from the OpenShot website itself. They have more tutorials over there. So I hope this video is going to be helpful in the current situation or to anyone who is making the videos. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Do subscribe to my channel for further updates and other things. Thank you for watching.